Hey guys, this is Peter Cordova coming to you live again from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's been two years since I've done one of these, and so I'm really excited to let you guys know what has happened since then. So for everyone here who's new to my channel, uh, just a quick intro. I am a biology slash chemistry major from the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. It, while I was studying there, I actually ended up falling in love with photography and videography. Since then, I've been doing a lot of uh, practicing and hopefully it can show through my videos and, and through my pictures. So last time I was actually uploading the, the, the video a one week before I was actually shipping off to Japan. And let me tell you, it was as great as I thought it was gonna be. I ended up shooting those vlogs, which I said I never had done before. I managed to put together a couple of chapter videos uh, from all of the cities that we visited in Japan. So I hope you guys can check those out. A couple of things that I've made it a point to improve on was definitely my drone flying. Uh, I've been taking my drone pretty much everywhere that allows it. So I hope it can show. So you can check out all my awesome drone footage and drone videos. As far as music festivals go, yeah, I still have continued to do uh, all of those, you know, I've been to Electric Zoo twice, EDC Orlando, EDC Vegas is the latest music uh, festival video that I've done. I've also done a couple of out of country travels as well. I have a video on my trip with my friend Kendall. We went to Spain and France. The thing is that um, as we were traveling over there, my bag, my bags were lost by the airport. And don't get me wrong, I was very upset. But luckily I had my GoPro in my backpack and I made the best of it. So don't ever let things like that slow you down. I also, uh, last October, I did my first solo trip. So I ended up going to Colombia actually by myself. I went to Medellin, Colombia. Or Medellin as they call it. It was, a, it was a bit scary at first. I went parasailing. I went four wheeling through the jungle. I went to Pablo Escobar's. Uh, I went to Pablo Escobar's private prison, which is now a old people home. Who would have thought, you know? As far as photography goes, I've really upped my game. I've been practicing day in and out and learning uh, a lot of techniques from uh, some of my favorite influencers. I can just scroll through my Instagram feed and see immense improvement. <laughs> You know, just from applying an Instagram filter back when my college days when I started filming to now. One thing I am promising for the future of my channel is I'm gonna try to upload weekly videos. I know that's not easily, uh, or not the easiest thing to do, especially since we can't move around too much nowadays. But as far as future video concepts go, uh, I actually became an American citizen last November, you know, after 19 years of being in America, and so did the rest of my family. So I do have a video that I'm working on, which will kind of show the journey of not my citizenship, but my parents, very proud of them. So this video that I'm working on now, it's gonna be more of an emotional one. It's gonna be more for them. It's a, like a thank you video to my mom and dad. So if everything works out, you know, with Corona, and I get to travel by October, I will hopefully go to my cousin's wedding. Been to Peru, I have a couple Peru videos already out, but I think it'd be really cool to see my videos in the same locations, you know, improve through the years. Another idea I have is I'm going to just start doing a lot more videos around my city. I see the blue ass water, you know, I see all those cool places that people go to, but trust me, no matter where you live, I live in North Carolina. You can make it cool, you can make it awesome. Probably more fun to do that because it, it's gonna work your creativity to, to show these places to the world and through your eyes. Any place can be a cinematic travel video. Definitely would love to tell anybody that's watching this video, it, it does take time, it does take dedication, and you will see improvement in it. And trust me, I've had, I've had moments of doubt when I thought, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm not improving as fast as I can or as fast as I want, especially because I am a young professional still. I do have a job where, you know, I have a nine to five that I still have to really work hard at. So time can sometimes be restricting to my hobbies, but it's, it's all about keeping your head up and keeping trying new things. You go to my very first video and just 
click through chronologically at random videos and just go up, you can see that anyone can improve. It's, it's pretty crazy how much of my life it, this has become. I can, I wake up in the morning and I feel like I've changed as a person in the best of ways. Being a, a person who likes to create footage and content has let me pay attention to, to the world around me a bit more. Finally, um, my camera's actually done, so I'll wrap this up, you know. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope to update you guys in two years, and maybe I'll have an actual income coming in uh, from my passion. So please feel free to check out my channel. Uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff that I'm planning on showing you guys, and I hope it inspires you to pick up the camera. And if you have any questions, you know where to find me. See ya.